So this is a very brief and not particularly slick run through of the Easy YouTube Caption Creator. Uh, and it's not very slick because this is still work in progress and part of the reason for doing this is to, uh, to sort of show what, what isn't done as well as what is done. Um, so let's just uh, go through this. Now the idea is that uh, you can grab a URL from YouTube, paste it in here. That's the first step to this. This is the, caption, the video that we want to caption. And I've got a transcript already prepared here, so we'll just copy that and paste it into this in step two. And what it's now going to do is split that up into separate lines, which appear down here. Okay, so none of these have actually been added yet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to play the video and then start our own timer. Ideally, what I would like to do is have the timer automatically start when the video has started playing once all the uh, YouTube buffering has happened. Um, but um, I haven't worked that one out yet. That's, uh, that looks like a job for um, Google API, and uh, I have not tinkered with that. So for the moment, it's a little bit more manual than I would like. But anyway, let's just see how this works. So I'm going to press play, start the timer, and then every time I hear one of these lines come up in the, uh, the video, I'm just going to hit the A key to add caption. Now, um, okay, well let's, let's just do this then. The thing about this book is that it doesn't just set out to get you making a web page. A lot of the other beginner books are pretty much a tutorial on making your first site. This book not only teaches you on a step-by-step -step basis, but it also explains the process and why you should be doing things a certain way. And so it provides that perfect first step onto the ladder of web design. People I've recommended the book to have always commented on how simple it was to follow. Some of these people have never planned on working in the web industry, but simply wanted to be able to create their own personal sites and not have to pay others to do it for them. So in that regard, the book becomes a worthy investment, even if you only plan on make making your insight. Okay, so it detected that uh, I got to the last one, and it's created it in the format that uh, YouTube likes. And this isn't a particularly complicated thing. I mean, effectively, it's just a bit of time code with spaces in between, and you could hand code this. Um, the only the only reason that I'm I'm really putting this together is that to hand code it, you have to keep on sort of pressing stop, start, make a note of the time and do this. The, the intention of this tool is that it makes it very easy to add the time code yourself to the uh, to the text. So let's just copy that. We're going to paste that into another file which is going to be called um, well it needs us an extension of .sub .sub. We're going to save that. Now let's go back into YouTube and uh, what I'm going to look for is the captions and subtitles link. and play it again. Okay, so let's stop. I'll just scroll back up here. So it's over this section here, closed captions. I'm going to browse for the file and there we've got Dave McNally's file. Open that. Language, English. I'm just waiting for that to upload. It shouldn't take too long because we've only got uh, 50 seconds worth of video here. So. Uh, go that's that done now the thing about this book yeah, is yeah, that yeah. it doesn't just yeah whatever whatever right let's go back down here and this time we should see the caption is showing there so if I just uh, switch off the annotations but we'll leave the captions running there as I press play we should find everything is pretty much in sync The thing about this book is that it doesn't just set out to get you making a web page. A lot of the other beginner books are pretty much a tutorial on making your first site. This book not only teaches you on a step-by-step -step basis, but it also explains the process and why you should be doing things a certain way. And so it provides that perfect first step onto the ladder of web design. People I've recommended the book to have always commented on how simple it was to follow. Some of these people have never planned on working in the web industry but simply wanted to be able to create their own personal sites and not have to pay others to do it for them. So in that regard, the book becomes a worthy investment, even if you only plan on making your own site. So there were a couple of that were slightly out of time. That's more down to me um, trying to explain what I'm doing and, and all sorts of other things at the same time. 
Um, it got a bit better towards the end. Um, it was just that the, the first couple that were slightly out. On a video like this, it's not a real big deal because there's, there's no kind of synchronization issues. Um, so that's really it. It's not it's it's not rocket science. All it's doing is taking a text file, breaking it up, and allowing you to press a simple key, press the A key to generate the time code. And um, that's it really. So um, if anyone's got any ideas how I could uh, make the the timer thing. Uh, play a bit more nicely I would uh, certainly appreciate anyone's comments so that's it and um, hopefully I'll be able to add a couple of little improvements to this very soon thank you